Hi, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil's English class. In today's class, we're going to do the first conditional and future time clauses. So the first conditional is an imaginary or hypothetical future and its consequences. Let's have a look at the first example. If you work hard, you'll improve your English. This is hypothetical or imaginary because I don't know if you will work hard. Will you work hard? Maybe yes, maybe no. But if you work hard, you'll improve your English. Okay? Let's look at the grammar of the sentence. So you've got if and the present simple, and then you've got will and the infinitive. Let's take a look at the next example. She won't come if there's no food. She won't come if there's no food. So you have a party and the barbecue is broken and you say, oh, my friend won't come. And then people say, no, no, she will, she will. And you say, no, she won't come if there's no food. Simple, she won't come if there's no food. With these sentences, it is your choice what you say first. I could say, you'll improve your English if you work hard. And I can say, if there's no food, she won't come. So here we have an imperative instead of will. Come and see us next week if you have time. So you have a new house and you want friends to visit you. They are busy now. So you say, come and see us next week if you have time. Please come, come. You won't get into university unless you get good grades. Unless you get good grades. So you use unless instead of a negative. So I could say, you won't get into university if you get bad grades. Or I can say unless and change the negative to a positive. Here is another example of unless. I won't go unless you go too. So there is a party. I don't know anybody. You know everybody. So I say, please, please go to the party. I won't go unless you go too. I'm trying to manipulate you. <laughs> I'm trying to influence you. I won't go unless you go too. Please, I'm pushing you. Please go. Now let's move on to future time clauses. Future time clauses are similar to first conditional. But the difference is, first conditional, you don't know the future. Future time clauses, you do know the future. So I'll explain this with the first example. I won't go until you go. Until you go. So in this example, I know you are going. I know. But... I want you to go first and I will go second. In this example, I won't go unless you go to. I don't know if you will go. So with future time clauses, after the future time clause, you use the present tense, not the future, the present tense. Here's another one. After... I finish university, I'll probably move home, move abroad. We'll have dinner when your father gets home. So you're a child and you say, I'm hungry. I want dinner now, now. And your mother says, no, you need to be polite. You need to wait. We'll have dinner when your father gets home. As soon as you know, call me. As soon as you know, call me. So you want to go on a vacation, but with a friend. And the friend doesn't know if she has enough money. But she will know in the future. She will know. So you say, as soon as you know, call me. 
Or you could say, when you know, call me. I won't have food before I swim. I won't have food before I swim. Many people say you should not eat before you swim. So that's this sentence. I won't have food before I swim. So just remember, future time clauses, until, after, when, as soon as, and before. And it's the present tense after it. That's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like. Thanks for watching.